Hello, welcome to One on One with Jane. I'm your host, and today I actually have Roger Abbott on my show, and that looks really real. Um, so, what actually got you into doing puppets? Oh, well, uh, I guess it would start when I was a little kid. My grandmother got me a raccoon puppet. I had a name Snappy. That he was having to bite people. In fact, I think maybe in the pile over there somewhere. Like if you switch your voice around, I have a feeling you'll uh, keep your voice consistent. You know what I mean? Some people cannot do that. Some people could. It seems like you could do that. You could keep your, like, hi, how are you doing? Like, um, like sometimes people, my phone. Sometimes I'm supposed to go for a nasally voice here, maybe for that. Sometimes he's uh, not very good at improv. I just thought of letting you know sometimes people think they could switch their voice up and they can't. And this one girl said, I'll do a southern voice. And this other girl said, Don't worry, do the southern. She wasn't good at doing a southern voice because she, she had to keep her voice consistent. I said, No, just use your regular voice. And sometimes people could. I try to, but it, um, I've been in the debt for a while now. And then, like I was telling you, when I switched my voice around to sound like a guy, my voice hurts because I'm deepening it up. Like if I was a smoker, I would, I would, I would have a deeper voice, like a man voice. <laughs> so, um, so do you think you're geeky or no? Because of your two front teeth. <laughs> well, so long as you don't refer to my my shameful politician past. See, when people refer to me a rat, I say no, no, no. The proper correct term is politician. I'm reformed. I'm a proper lab. I'm a respectful man of science. So, did you actually use these at church events as well? Like yes, as a matter of fact, I was first introduced at the trunk, church's trunk or treat. Oh, did you pass where that pre, Well, yes, pretty much. I did a scientific study where pretty much I, I even marked it down here, uh, where pretty much I asked kids important questions. Do you want A, avocados, B, broccoli, or C, candy? Needless to say, I got a pretty consistent answer from the kids. Oh. But then when I asked the same parents for questions to the parents, only to say, <clears throat> Knowing the dangers of type 2 diabetes, cavities, and being a good influence on your children's health and diet, do you choose avocados, broccoli, or candy? Oh. And if they chose the broccoli or something like that, I told the kids they had to make sure their parents eat it. Younger kids usually respond well better with puppets. Um, just one thing to keep in mind with, with puppets is that uh, you have to have, especially with younger kids, you have to have some sort of action like every 11 seconds. I mean, you can't just have two talking heads going blah, 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 and the kids get boring. But, you know, a few times, blah, 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 This looks like a real one, like the other one. Yeah, it's kind of funny because this looks real compared to the other one. One on one with Jane, we're actually going over a whole bunch of puppets he has. I don't want to say Muppets because we have no rights to use Muppets, the word Muppet. Well, Muppet is uh, just a term for a type of puppet. But, for example, like this would be like a wolf puppet, while well, this would represent BIG BAD WOLF! <laughs> so, my puppets are different, so if I were to compare it, this is Cindy. She would, mm -hmm. This is right after the tag that's named, because I kept thinking, should I call her Natasha? What should I call her? So I put her up on Facebook, and this is what I mean by keeping the voice consistent. Hi, I'm Cindy, and I have a boyfriend named Josh, and Josh is pretty annoying sometimes. So I could stuff her chest but pulled it out so that way she could have a fake chest now she has no chest well i guess supposedly you could always glue a couple uh foam ping pong balls and cut them in half and <laughs> glue them together i know we can't borrow uh we can't take christy's chest and put it on her it won't fit <laughs> that would be gross i mean slabs of meat on there and everything i mean tasty but ew i'm gonna borrow her chest now that you said that jane no you don't have to she's a camera woman now but she walked away with no patience. And this is sounding creepy here. I'm a big bad wolf, not Dr. Frankenstein. I don't transfer body parts are. Uh -oh. Alright, I'm out of here. This is crazy. I thought she flashed with Josh, not me. Well, she tried to flash all of you guys just for the hell of it. Did you get a chance to see? Did that wake you up a little bit? Oh my god, she's getting nosy. Someone wasn't paying attention. Generally, uh, voices and stuff, that's uh, one to area I didn't get a chance to really work on. I pretty much did improv on the spot. I focused on the action of the puppets. For example, like eye contact, that's that's always important. So when you got more than one puppet interacting, uh, actually having like see, look at each other's eyes and stuff and actually talk to each other. Uh -huh. And maybe occasionally we got to kick grass with Kyle, like occasionally look at the little crowd, look at the kids. And if you got to crawl the kid looks down, make sure you look down at them. 
And, uh, and of course, open your mouth with every syllable. Particularly if you're on a stage good. here, if you need to move, wave your arm, talk, then just drop it and let it hang. And then of course you can just do some advanced tricks, you know, give it a clap, give hugs, or just do some three sutures actions. Knock, knock. And the same people that made Barkley Wolf Wolf, they're from Lucy Toys. And uh, they got them a couple different sizes here, but this is a personal preference right here. And the kids almost always name all my, all my puppets, and they named this one uh, Malfoy. Why is that all your shows are? Oh yeah, usually, uh, we're actually performing for the church. Uh, used to be we uh, do downstairs, uh, the kids would go downstairs, but now we do it upstairs to the church here. The kids get to come up front and get the message a level they understand, and uh, in a little bit of an entertaining way. They like reoccurring theme characters there, it's the kids they always memorize their names. And for a while we had the church youth end up coming up the idea, coming in helping out, and sometimes they had to contribute some ideas that actually improved on some of the skits. You probably get the same people each time, right? At the churches and stuff? You find the same kids, or is it sometimes different? Uh, well, usually the same kids, but kids grow up over time. I mean, I've been doing this long enough to where a lot of them grown up and already moved on, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't really change it, you just keep your own voice. Or, uh, oh no, I would, I would do like a different voice for it. For example, like, yeah. What are you talking about there, Sonny? Oh, okay. I'll take care of that. What was I doing? No, oh, for like an old man voice. Mr. Gray, what are you doing? I mean, look at this girl. She's talking to a hand. Well, it's okay. I mean, this guy's mouth is over here, but no, she's staring at the well, hand. He moves his hand like he's actually a puppet in there, like he's holding a puppet up. But now I'm talking to him, but she might end up wanting to be with the hand. I just want to say thank you for being on one on one with Jane. I really appreciate it. Keep me updated and informed regarding what you do next. Maybe you're going to do a church event. I could come out and film it.